interact and manipulate him in any way as you see fit. Paranormal entities. You are Cliff, a college student who has brand new freelance camera for the show Paranormal Entities. The second rated ghost investigation show on the Hunting and Outdoors Cable Network. You've been hired to inspect the St. Augustine Asylum for the Mentally Ill. You will go into this facility, follow the producer's instructions through a radio earpiece, keep your camera on and try to make contact with the first inside. If nothing happens, you will get 500 for your time. because my mouse is going away off the screen which is weird worried that I click something off stream if I get a fright and jump was there a church? I thought it was a mental asylum. Ordinary people just wanted them gone for public. They shoved those with non-threatening mental conditions and those deemed inappropriate to society together with legitimate psychopaths and murderers and other violent monsters and basically said, let God sort it out. The atrocities in here oh, hell no. too much to count. The death toll was unreal. This is where the hundred right. hallways patients would be seen. And when we here. heard that, the patients once you came to this one, yeah. You're talking yeah, twice, big man. I can't understand you. Step on. Oh, I don't like this, man. Alright, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay. Oh, why are we awaken this place? August. I'm scared. Go Sorry, I'm very quiet. I'm sitting here like... Please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. Just oh. give us a sign that you are here. You're not here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. Alright, check that. Now into this microphone. Alright, let's try one more spot. Do like this. Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up or piss Don't off. do that. Don't do that! Why would you do that? Why would you call them pricks? Whoa, 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 did you hear that? Did you... Play that back, play that back. 
They play fucking. Show up or piss off. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. All right, all right. We, looks like we got an investigation. All right, I want you to go down the morgue hallway, and we're gonna continue our investigation in the other gathering area. Don't fucking trust you, mate. We just called them pricks. It was... that was not nice. There was like fucking 20 of them. Oh, man. They stay this. Okay, the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the e-social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. Oh, I always stand in the middle of here and summon people. Hello? Is anybody there? Is that me? Scared though. Scared. Yes. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the bad move. Is there grudge noises and it's just boxes? Hello. Nice. Start in. Yo, you hen. Get the hell out of there. Just, just go to the front 
door and get out. Easy for you to say, mate. You're not the one inside the fucking death place. Can't even run, man. Okay, there's a there's a staircase. Take the staircase Where? up to the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way. So so go up the staircase. Okay, I go upstairs. I say, if we're next to basement. No. Wait, no. Off stream. Oh. I'll probably be something like your son. Well, that was pretty cool. Oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> what was that? What's that? I don't like that. Can't make me turn fast, bro.
Mama. Uh, eyeballs. All right, confession time. Uh, it's about the eyes. I kind of hid this from you. There's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that. Clive was more than just a mere man, and uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day, you know, rampant hallucinations, and progressively got worse, but at night, he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive, but whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him, and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork, and he blinded himself. And while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free. He was safe. Then a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesight, too. This pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, try to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. You want me to shut my eyes? This is no good, Dave. It's no good. Good. I'm just box spoke. Was it the body? <laughs> Play an indie game called Paranormal Activities or Activity or Entities or I don't know. I don't know what we're playing. Chasing me. Oh, here we go. You can do it. Fucking okay, run, don't look behind. the fucking Hulk. Cut him out, man. Cut him out. Cut the eyes. Don't need to see him. Cut the eyes.
can't feel anything. I, I'm sorry, but we're not coming. This guy's an asshole. I'm sorry, man. I have to go. I'm sorry. Made, made in 10 days. I'll give you that. We should have, um, we should have not taken out our eyes and seen what happened.